Today I'm going to be showing you how to add seam allowance to your pattern pieces in Affinity Designer. Now I did touch on this in my first initial introduction to Affinity Designer video that I posted a few months back, but I thought I would just post a dedicated video to show you exactly how to do it um, and show you how to overcome any, any difficulties you might have whilst doing it. So I've just got a standard bodice block here that I got from Pattern Lab London. Um, it's just a standard UK size 10 and obviously this line here is going to be cut on the fold so you don't want the seam allowance on this section so I'm going to show you how to take that away. So the first thing you want to do is find your bodice outline, make sure it's all in one group together and that the lines are all closed. So then you want to press Control J so you've got a duplicate of this and then you want to come over here to the contour tool and click mitre on a contour type and then you want to just write in how wide you want your seam allowance to be so i'm just going to do one centimeter today um so look we've already got a problem so if your seam allowance has got a split in it for some reason then usually that's because you have too many nodes in one place so if we just undo everything we just did delete that duplicate and then you want to open up the node tool i would imagine we click there and drag yep yeah, there's two nodes there so uh, if we just delete one of them so now there's only one node so that should have fixed the issue so if we duplicate that again go to the contour tool click on mitre press one centimeter yep yeah, so that's fixed now so now the next thing you want to do is press bake appearance because that will turn your seam allowance into a curve of its own and then you want to go to the node tool and you want to just delete the bits that you don't need so if you press the control button click over it and then it will just go so you want to delete that long line this extra little bit here and this extra little bit here And then if you grab your pen tool, start there, click there. And then if we get the pen tool again, start there, click there. And then obviously they will be now separate to your seam allowance. So you just want to press control on both of those. So you highlight the outer seam allowance and that little section there. Then go to nodes and you just want to join curves so that is now your seam allowance okay now i recommend for your um dart because this gets a little bit confusing i would probably if you come back up here and click seam allowance then i would probably delete those two and then join these two up at the middle. Something like that. Oop. If we go to nodes to move that a little bit more central. Whoa. Yeah, something like that. Although actually, what we could do is something more like this because yeah that looks a bit better that way people will know that that's absolutely meant to be a node and that they will just fold those together obviously you can do that however the way you want so you could also just delete the whole thing and connect them up at the middle like that that's not too bad either um, but the main thing is that people know that it's a dart. Now it's up to you whether you want to leave your sewing line. I'm going to just to save confusion. And then you probably just want to click on your lines. Oh, I can't find them. Right. Your little nodes. 
and then just move them to the outer shell. So there is your standard bodice block with seam allowance on the outer edge. And you would do the exact same thing on the sleeve and on the front bodice, following the same instructions. Um, and it would just do it all for you. I'll quickly do it on the sleeve just to show you. So if we click on the sleeve, click on the sleeve outline, then we duplicate. Go straight to the contour tool, press mitre, press one centimetre, and that's added all that for you. So remember to bake your appearance. And then that's your seam allowance. So there you go, there's your seam allowance on the sleeve. Um, now, I did get a comment a little while ago on one of my YouTube videos asking how you would true your seam allowances to make sure they fit. Now, I haven't figured out an exact way to do this on Affinity Designer yet, so at the moment I would probably just advise you to print out um, oops, print out your pattern pieces and make a kind of toile or practice garment and make sure that everything fits. Um, but in theory, it should all be absolutely fine. Now, if you're wondering what to do if you want to add a longer hem to a pattern piece, so for example, you've got your one centimetre seam allowances on your sleeve, but you know that you want a two centimetre hem on the bottom of your sleeve, just as an example. If you want to click on your seam allowance and then go to nodes, if you just highlight the two nodes at the bottom and then you want to break your curve, so that's now a separate line on its own, and then just click on that line, so just this is selected, and then go to move tool. Now we want to go to the Y position and then just add two centimetres, so 63, and that will move that down two centimetres, so that will actually be a three centimetre hem, sorry, so if you wanted it a two centimetre, I'd just take one off, you would only add one centimetre. And then you'd go back to your normal seam allowance and go to nodes and drag that down to meet it on both sides and then highlight both and then join your curves and then close your curves. So there you go, you've added a longer piece of seam allowance on the bottom than on the sides and the top. 